Okay, Death Hunter, Vampires vs. Werewolves. You have a small town in the middle of nowhere overrun by vampires and werewolves. Ironically, the two of them never really seem to fight each other. You have a relatively random guy who moves out with his wife. They get attacked by a werewolf. He kind of gets kidnapped and is told that there was a prophecy that said someone was going to be attacked by a werewolf. And he's then trained in how to kill both sides. So there actually is a training montage of a guy using these superhuman abilities that you get in human form when bitten by a werewolf. So the super speed, super strength, things of that nature. This movie is incredibly bad. You've got bad acting. Even when they're doing scenes where they're driving a car, you can obviously tell it's bad blue screen or green screen. They recycle footage. The first time you see somebody die, or the first time you see a werewolf attack, I should say, you don't really see the werewolf actually attack anybody. They just show an establishing shot of a CGI werewolf. They use the exact same footage later on in the movie. It's the last werewolf kill. The most bizarre thing is, the first kill happens to people who are in the middle of nowhere at a campsite. The second kill, someone's walking down a road, but they use the exact same footage. So, yeah, it takes about 45 minutes an hour to an hour for you actually have the guy who goes around killing the vampires and werewolves. And most of it kind of happens off screen. You know, this is, this is a movie where the concept was pretty interesting. You know, someone tried to do essentially the reverse of Blade. But it is an absolutely atrocious film.